Brandon of Oklahoma Biker brought to you by Rider Accessory Warehouse, where your ride begins and you're not just a customer, you're a friend. Welcome back to Oklahoma Biker. I've, I'm joined today in the studio with um, a gentleman I just met, and but I heard a lot about, Carter Stucker. He's an ar a local artist, here in lives here in Tulsa, correct? I, I live in Owasso now. Owasso. Just moved. Lives in Owasso. Mm -hmm. um, but does some um, painting um, and some other unique art. And, and Carter, I just want you to kind of tell me a little bit about what you, your uh, canvases are and your artwork and a little bit about it. Okay, well my artwork, I started painting uh, about 2004. Didn't know I could paint. I just I started squinting my eyes and tried it out one time and it worked and I just continued to paint. And uh, I don't know how, where, what, at one point you become an artist, but I make painting, so. Yeah, and what, do you do portraits or, I know you brought some portraits to the studio and. Yeah. and uh, I, up to this point, I've primarily only done uh, portraits of, uh, of music artists and what have you. I have a heart for music and for musicians and. And, and so, why is that? Well, I grew up in an entertainment family. My father was, a, was an entertainer. He played with uh, Boyd Bennett and the Rockets in the 50s and. Uh, in the 60s, he played with Vaughn Monroe, and he also worked with B.B. King. Yeah, I noticed you had a picture that you painted yes, of B.B. Yes. King. It was very nice, um, which kind of leads into the other type of art that you do, but it's actually, uh, you would consider it art, but it's also usable. Uh, I manufacture gas can guitars. Yes. Um, I, I think it comes from my heart for the blues and what have you, and I, uh, I, uh, I just wanted to incorporate what some of the folks that didn't have money did in the old days. So gas can guitars, can we take a look at one? Well, sure, I just happen to have one right here. <laughs> this <laughs> is the prototype I was talking about. It's a bright pink, it's a five gallon guitar. Now most of my uh, gas can guitars are built with two gallon average gas cans, like or oil cans. Uh, we like to get the ones with like Texaco or you know, Phillips 66, what have you. But anyway, this one's made with a five gallon gas can. We put a Stratocaster, a Telecaster neck, and we built our resonator. It uh, has a little rod glint. We put in type of pickup the customer wants in it, here and in here. And uh, that's the big and the little of it there. Uh, we have a, a man that has a CNC machine that makes all my wood inserts so everything fits real precise. So it plays like a, a Fender Stratocaster Telecaster with the, with the tinny sound of the, of the can and what have you. It has a unique sound when they play. In, uh, I imagine the uh, bluegrass bands or red dirt bands, they probably kind of like that sound. That up, up to this point, uh, rockabilly people and uh, uh, blues people, but yeah. we're, we've just only been building these for a few months. So, yeah. Yeah. And I, I know that you have a website. What yes, it's uh, your website? gascanguitars.com. And it's uh, Fat Cat Musical Instruments, and we go there. It's a new site that's up. We're going to be putting a video out on how you can build these yourself instead of me have to build them all for you and we give you a list of parts that you need and how to do it. So, so you can I'm, build your own mm -hmm. gas can guitar. I'm, I'm also going to have a book with all the information you need to build the gas can guitar that will be available soon too. Well, I want a gas can guitar. In fact, I like the pink one <laughs> um, because that would be great for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, you know, pink yes, and all that uh, good stuff. So, Carter, I think it's great. Um, I think you're extremely talented. I love your paintings. And I, I appreciate you coming down here to the studio well, and uh, just sharing your artistic abilities with us today. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Until then, watch, watch out, out for, for the cages. Mwah. <laughs>